What's up, everybody? Keith Mitchell back again with yet another update regarding DS for Windows, the application that allowed you to use your DualSense controller on your Windows PC. As you can see, there's a brand new update called version 2.1.8. This version gives you what you've been asking for. I've been seeing a lot of comments asking, when is DS for Windows going to allow us to use Rumble over Blue? Well, this update brings it, which means both Steam and DS for Windows allow you to use Rumble and Lightbar support for this guy, the DualSense controller or Bluetooth. So how do we get the new update? Well, there's two ways. You can either fire up DS for Windows right now, which if you already have it installed, open it up, go to settings, and then go down to check for update, and it'll bring it up. Or you can go straight to the website itself and download the file. I'm pretty sure DS for Windows, yeah, it checks every day. So if you haven't opened it up in a day, when you first open up DS for Windows today or tomorrow, or whenever you watch the video, the new update will be there. So for us, we're gonna go ahead and install the update. It's pretty quick. And again, we look at the change log. It tells us what exactly has changed. It's pretty much everything we already said, which is again, light bar support and rumble support or Bluetooth. Also, you can disable the, the mic light uh, LED, which is I know some people have problems with before. So that's all in this new version. All right, so does it work? Well, that is a good question. Let's go ahead and fire up DS4 Windows and see. So we just need to make sure that we are on the new version. And see here, it looks like we are. There's no controllers connected because I have not fired up my Bluetooth. Bluetooth is being connected now. There we go, it sees it. So it says that Rumble is in there. So which means if we go to edit, there should be a way to verify that. I have not seen that yet. There's, there's gotta be a way to make it initialize. There's gyro, there's other. Okay, so we got rumble. So we got test heavy and test light. So we got the controller right here. Hope the light's not too bright. I'll pull it back. It might be too bright. I apologize. Oh yeah, it's definitely rumbling. And we got light. So we do have rumble support now. That is great stuff, folks. Um, light bar as well. So now we can change things. So we should be able to change the LED on here. So right now it is set to blue. And let's see. Oh yeah, the colors are changing. It's it's probably too, you know what? Let me turn this light off in here. Turn off light. I don't know if you can see the colors because it's fairly bright in here right now, but it definitely is changing colors now. Oops, wrong keyboard. We can change it to red or orange. Yeah, the colors are definitely changing now, so that's great. So now I have a red one, which should be noticeable on camera. I really hope it is. But yeah, that definitely works. So the next question is, Keith, so now that we have this, will it work for games? Well, that's a good question. So let's go fire up a game and see if it works. Where is my Play Night? Which is my handy application that allows me to fire up all my PC games on the PC. Definitely check it out. Play Night, P L A Y N I T E, not N I G A T like the actual night. All right. So we're moving. We're moving in Play Night as always. So let's fire up a game that is not a Steam game. Uh, and a game that has Rumble. Uh, so probably an Epic Games Tour. So Mortal Shell, we'll do that. Launch Mortal Shell. This is great. I'm glad that they finally got Rumble working in here. However, this does pose a problem because Steam has its own DualSense support with Rumble and Lightbar. And now that this has its own support, it's gonna beg the question, it still hasn't fired up, that's weird. It's gonna beg the question, do you disable Steam support or do you disable the dual, uh, dual DS for Windows support because they will conflict with each other. I've seen that happen. I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you have seen it happen as well. Pretty weird that uh, Mortal Shell has not launched yet. Oh, there it goes. Use it a lot faster. Game is taking sweet forever. And this is an epic game store game. So that way you know that it actually does work with uh, DS for Windows. I really hate when they put all these ads and uh, logos in the beginning of a game. I just want to get to the game. And we're just here to test that dual shock or dual sense rumble support is actually working. So the easy way is to get hit by enemy and watch my controller 
rumble or you'll hear it rumble all right game is loaded up let's run on out gotta find an enemy to hit me Where are the enemies? There we go. All right. Hit me. I'm not feeling any rumble. Oh, there we go. There's rumble. The rumble is in. Probably not the best game to test it with, but rumble is in there. So that is quick and dirty, folks. It is in there. DS4 Windows now supports light bar and rumble support over bluetooth so tell your friends tell your family install it enjoy and again if you have any questions or comments regarding us getting it working reach out to me i'll do my best to help you but you probably want to reach out to the developer of the game which i'll put in the description below you got what you asked for and as always thanks for watching if you like the video be sure to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more updates on when we put out new videos thanks for watching